welcome to today's episode my name still remains obi udeze and today we'll be treating a very wonderful topic from this special book greatness is a vision topic understanding jesus greatness let us quickly read the book of matthew 20 verse 28 i read even as the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many the great side of life is living in patience jesus considered himself least and then became a servant it is better to serve than to be saved it is greater for a christian to be kind than to have someone be kind to him all great christians live on the great side of life which excel in patience laying down your life for others is greater than expecting people to lay down their lives for you showing compassion is better than expecting to be compassionate for greatness is to forgive than to be forgiven greatness is to obey than to give command jesus became the greatest the moment he served by laying down his life for humanity greatness to man is humility and to god is meekness in nehemiah 2 11 nehemiah was a great man he achieved greatness in his service to god by being obedient to god's word and service to god's kingdom one of the character of a great man is going to god directly in prayer while facing a challenge like nehemiah when confronted with the problem of rebuilding the walls of jerusalem pray to god about it first and god heard his prayer by making the king permit and allowed him return to jerusalem to rebuild the broken walls of jerusalem nehemiah has an unusual approach to his tax that eventually produced effective results looking at jesus throughout his earthly ministry had a plan he worked hard without fear he mobilized everyone he came across to the task of his life and he finished well as a great man we should in the course of our life always follow god's plan focus on tax of our life include everyone in god's service work hard in starting and finishing what was started we should always look at jesus greatness to moderate our own greatness by remembering god in the days of our challenge have self-control and not living carelessly be courageous knowing one's mission in life and be zealous of gold works the journey of greatness is not free from being stuck over time we have thoughts and dreams of what we want in life but those things never happen it is our mindset that have held those things back from us there are steps towards something greater which include number one celebrating former success always cultivate the habit of celebrating success as it brings motivation number two create your expectation don't be stuck in a particular place for so long number three make a move take action as you know timing is never perfect and time is not on our side number four be persistent don't mind obstacles on the road that leads to greatness in the journey of greatness obstacles is inevitable number five get right support have a prayer partner to agree towards a particular thing that you are believing god for that will bring your greatness 
it's my pleasure sharing with you see you next week when i'll be treating keep your eyes on the mark thank you so much for watching